What's up guys, Roman Gonzalez here. Today I'm gonna to show you some awesome, dope I'd say, text animations with a free plugin uh, from Video Copilot called Saber, known as the Saber plugin. Link down below so you can go check it out, hassle free. Let's get right to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my project in Premiere Pro. Unfortunately, for some reason, internal audio on this computer doesn't work. Let's just pretend that you can hear the song. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically like visualize what I want the intro to look like and kind of count down the seconds of where I want the uh, words to come in. We got the intro starting. I'm going to want the artist name to fade in right there, right away. It's glitching because it's not rendered and whatever. Uh, I'd like it, you know, title to go to there, uh, featuring this guy, produced by, it's lagging, but produced by, I'll put right there, and then directed by, and then I will, I'll have, actually have, have it fade out at about the 30 second mark. Again, I apologize for the lagging, that doesn't help this at all but I'm gonna go ahead and just make my out point right there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this I'm gonna hit control M which pops up the export page should pop up the export page boom export it I'm gonna name it find where I, I'm gonna uh, save it at just to give you a quick preview of how I export I'm gonna render at maximum depth depth I'm gonna check that box and I'm going to change this to a VBR2 pass. And I usually set my target bit rate and my minimum bit rate to 25, 24, 25. I'm going to check this box, use maximum render quality, and I'm going to queue it and send it over to Enco Encoder, Media Encoder, um, to be encoded. I actually already did this because um, I already knew I was going to be fixing up this title. But that's what you want to do first is get your... Um, clip that you're going to want to be putting your text on. I usually just name it intro. Um, and then what you want going to want to do is go ahead and open up After Effects. Little disclaimer here. For me, I don't know if anyone else has had this problem, but for me, the Saber plugin has only been working on the After Effects that I installed it in. I think it should still pop up under the effects. I don't know if it's a glitch or something, but for some reason, Saber only works when I use this version of After Effects 15.12. Gonna go ahead and drag over my clip. Named it Intro 2. Or is that the Intro 2? Oh, sh no, it's this one. Okay. Now I have it over here in my library. I dragged it over there. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over here where it says New Composition. Actually didn't don't need that part. Kind of rearranged my things here, so I don't need this part. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that part out. I'm gonna hold down Control and left arrow click to move frames. That's actually the frame that I want to start at. I'm just gonna go ahead and shorten that up like that. And move move it over. To the front, just pull, pulling out that that little bit right there. Cool. So I got my in and out points right here. I got my clip right here. I go ahead and hit this little text icon up here on the left. And drop it right here. Type in the title I want to type in. Okay, we're gonna enlarge this. About right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to layer up here, I'm going to go layer, I'm going to go to new, I'm going to go over to solid, hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is up here on the right, I'm going to go over to effects. If it's not there, you just click these little double arrows right here and hit uh, effects and presets. I'm going to type in the Saber plugin. Now, the Saber plugin, as I mentioned before, it isn't built in. You have to go to the Video Copilot link. It is a free link. You can install it from there, uh, and then it should automatically show up in your effects and presets. Again, as I said earlier, 
it only works for me on the version 15 of After Effects. If I try to open up one of the newer versions of After Effects, it doesn't show up for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if there's an answer to this problem. There probably is, but my workaround is just to just to use it there. Also, I might just be doing this just because that was the version I was using when I installed it, and maybe I have to just install it. But I've tried, and I haven't been able to figure it out. But anyways, just, just so you know. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and drag and drop this saber onto your solid. Bring down my solid length. Um, this, you're going to need to make a different solid and a different saber for each text. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, move this over so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So there's all these presets to select from. You can see the different types of energies um, that there are. There's a whole bunch of them. They're all really sick. That one's dope. I think what I used was this one, Arc Reactor Core. That's pretty sick. And I'll run it like a blue color. I like that bluish purplish color. Yeah, that's nice. Intensity. Okay, so now now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna click down to customize core. It says core type right here. I'm going to set send it to text layer. And then right here where it says text layer, I'm gonna go ahead and select Cody Keys. That's gonna make it outline the Cody Keys um, words that I just put there. And then I'm going to go to um, render settings. Scroll down. I apologize for the noise. All right, right here, uh, where it says composition, I'm going to change it from black. I'm so sorry. I'm going to change it from black over to transparent, which is going to make the solid disappear. Another thing I'm going to add is a little bit more uh, flicker to the effect. Fully customizable. You can do tons of different stuff. You know, you can um, have it kind of like come in like that. Ooh, Cody key. That's pretty hard. By the way, I'm hitting control Z or command Z to undo. That's a shortcut for undo. If you guys didn't know that. I'm going to keep on customizing it. It looks a little bit intense for me. Maybe bring this intensity down a little bit so you can really read the letters a little bit more. Really my favorite part I think is the flickering. So I'm going to mess with the flicker intensity, the flicker speed, halo size, core soft. So really you can just play with all of these. I'm probably going to do something different than this, but you get the idea. Saber plug-in. That's how you do it. Oh man, it is bright. Yep, that's what it is, man. Pretty simple. I remember when I first learned it from Max Novak, actually made the tutorial. Shout out to Max Novak for showing me this. I had to follow along side by side. I made, I just made my little window smaller. I went along side by side in my After Effects to make sure I got it right. It took me a few times. It definitely took like three, four, five times of practice before I got it down and I was able to do it without going back and referring the video to the video each time. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this. If you're an After Effects user, let me know. If you're not an After Effects user, let me know. Do you like these types of effects? I think they're dope. I've used them on you know, a handful, maybe 10 or 20 uh, music videos. I like to use it when I just feel inspired to put it in there. I feel like it looks right. Also, it's an extra little touch that you can charge more for. You can demonstrate your value that you can do stuff like that. And I like the effect. Hope you like the effect. I appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, if you like this type of content. And hit that like button for me too so I can continue to work hard and bring this content out to you um, and grow together. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Then what you're going to want to do is export it. Go ahead and hit Control M or Command M. Exp name it, export it. And then once it's exported, you go ahead and just drag it back into your project and export your project as a whole. I like to chop these up and um, fade them in and out. Just make a cut, make a fade. I'll show you right now. So after I've exported my clip from After Effects, I'm gonna go ahead and open the project back up. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab the clip I just made, drop it in there. I'm going to save it. Okay, I'm going to save it, hit Control S. I'm going to render it just so that 
you know, it's easy to deal with, easier to cut and process. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and make some splices in between where I set these, where I set these titles at, so I can fade them in and out. Just go ahead and click over to effects. Video transitions, dissolve, cross dissolve, go ahead and throw those bad boys on there. Shorten them up a little bit. Oh, I mean, they don't need to be that short. I'm finding the empty frame in between them. Um, I apologize for the poor camera work on this. You know, I'm doing the best I can. I'm gonna hit the C button. That's the splice button or the cut. Shortcut, I think on Final Cut. If you're on Final Cut, it's like B. Just give it, give it one frame. Hit V to go back to the regular cursor. Wha bam, wha bam. Throw a cross dissolve on there. Go to the next one. Go ahead and hit that render button. Render it all out <clears throat> by the right way it renders right here. Sequence, render. Render it out. Just so I can watch it play it back. I don't I you can export without rendering, but I prefer to render it. Cool, I think it's all rendered out and good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and export. Hit that control M. And export it out. I be elevated. Let's get elevated. Let's get. Let's get. Come on. I be elevated like a G, rolling like a geek. Thought I'd be sit on the SAT. From the way I think, shawty think my mind so damn fine. Are you kidding me? Eh, okay, yeah. Oh, dirt, dirt, dirt. Dur, it don't matter. It don't matter if that's there. I forgot. Okay, this one's good though.